married, slept with another man, and regretted it immediately. Husband found out, I am not sure if he wants to leave me or not, but I am willing to do anything to fix it. Need advice. My husband and I have been married for 12 years and have been together for about 16. We're both 34 years old. We have two lovely children, a 10-year-old boy and a 9-year-old daughter. My husband is a beautiful guy, a fantastic provider, despite the fact that we both work, and a wonderful parent. My parents adore husband more than they adore my brother or me. My female friends are all gushing about how fortunate I am to have locked him down. Despite all of this, I had an affair. This other man and I met at work. He works in the same building as me, but in a separate office and on a different level. He was taller than my husband, spent more time in the gym than my husband, he doesn't have a family of his own, had a great sculpted chin, looked like a model, and so on. Other man began to pay attention to me, and I gradually yielded. I concluded that having Mr. Mom at home was insufficient for me. I persuaded myself that my hubby does not pay enough attention to me. Other man invites me to a hotel room after work after two months of wooing, and we sleep together. It was the worst experience I'd ever had. It was everything fantastic until we began having, at which point everything seemed weird. There was a tremendous feeling of remorse and humiliation that gripped me. I understood I wasn't getting what I wanted and that I was making a tremendous mistake. I returned home. My spouse was keeping the kids entertained at home. They were in front of the TV, and husband was doing theatrics for the kids pretending to have a sword battle with an imagined adversary, and the kids were all laughing and giggling. He was probably giving them a tale. I stood there for a few minutes, then went to take a shower, but no amount of water could wipe away the guilt I felt. So I started doing all I could to repent. I had no intention of confessing to my spouse, but I resolved to be the greatest version of myself for him. As a result, we began having every day. If it wasn't feasible, I made sure he got at least a BJ. Because my parents were more than willing to babysit at the end of a simple phone call, I began cooking more at home and resuming date evenings. I can confidently state that our connection was stronger than ever. Six weeks later, other man contacted me at work and said he'd want to redo our session. I told him no, that it was an error, and that he should leave me alone. He persisted, and I told him that I love my husband and that other guy is not half the man that my husband is. Later that day, I return home, greet my husband, make small chat with him, and go take a shower before we head out to see a movie. I stepped out of the shower, and I could sense something wasn't right. Husband was weeping as he looked at his phone. When I inquired what was wrong, he handed me his phone. Other man provided him a few texts outlining how we spend our time together how we planned it, screenshots of chats, the hotel receipt, some images, and so on. Husband questioned whether it was real, and I told him everything was true. He inquired whether I had ever meant to confess, and I assured him I would have carried it with me to the cemetery. I attempted to explain that it was all a mistake, and that I regretted it more than anything else. I told him I'd do whatever to repent and begged him not to go. He departed for two days, did not return my calls, and did not respond to my SMS. I attempted to contact him at work, but was informed he had taken a few days off. He then returned home, spent some time with the children, and began preparing a suitcase for himself. We're done, he said, that if I believe I can do anything I want and not suffer the repercussions, he can do whatever he wants and ignore the consequences. He went on to tell me how much he had given up for us, our love, and our marriage. He never completed high school since our baby arrived and we needed money more than he needed to graduate. He abandoned pals since I didn't feel at ease with them. He prioritized me before his own wants and ambitions. That he spends more time with the kids than I do. And that despite the fact that he loves the kids, he never has time for himself. I, on the other hand, go out with pals after work. And yet, despite all of this, despite all he does for me, I have the audacity to cheat on him. He loved me unconditionally despite my flaws and troubles, and I considered having an affair. He can't imagine spending his life with someone who doesn't appreciate him. That he should have realized that all of my recent attention to him was motivated by guilt and was not sincere. 
It's time he focused on himself for a change. And then he left. We each have our own money. He makes about three times what I do. We have a joint account where we put money for bills, food, and other expenses. We have a separate account where we put money for the kids. And another account for emergencies, savings, and so forth. He got his pay last week and instantly put money into our joint accounts. That was reassuring. It gives me the impression that he isn't fully out of this mess I've made. We're scheduled to meet tomorrow to talk about where we are and where we're going. I want to make it very apparent to him that I made a terrible mistake and that I am willing to do anything he asks of me. I'll take on additional chores around the home, limit my time with friends, and devote more time to the kids. If he wants to, I want him to return to school and complete his education. I'm so desperate that I'm prepared to let him sleep with other women if that's what he wants. I simply don't know how to approach him without coming off as manipulative. He never mentioned a divorce throughout all of this, and as far as I know, he hasn't notified anybody. I informed my mother and asked for her opinion and she was quite disappointed with me. I asked her not to tell anybody else, and she hasn't to the best of my knowledge. I have some optimism since he isn't bringing divorce into the picture but I'm afraid of what tomorrow may bring and what he could tell me. Maybe he'll ask for a divorce tomorrow. All I need is some advice. My affairs serve as a wake-up call. I don't want to lose the most important thing in my life. Any suggestions would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Update. I suppose I'll find out what happens sooner than I expected. He asked me to drop the kids off at my parents' house for the remainder of the day and meet him in a few hours. The good news is that he wants to meet in a site where we used to go when we were younger. The bad news is that all of the preparations I was making, such as writing the letter as other posters suggested, will have to be put on hold. I'm looking for guidance on how to keep my family together. I made several blunders, and the receipt will ruin my family if it hasn't already. Update No. 2. He's giving me a second chance. He returned home yesterday night. Last night, I had the most difficult conversation with my husband and had to answer a couple really challenging questions. Please give me a few days for those who are interested and those who have PM'd me asking for an update. This post was shared with my spouse and he read it all. I have his permission to publish any updates. Thank you to everyone who offered helpful advice. Story 2. My fiancé cheated on me. I've been married to my fiancé, 33M, for five years. We were planned to marry in August, but we made the difficult choice to postpone our big day until August of 2022 because many of our elderly family members were concerned about flying and being in a crowd. I met him at work. We both work as hairstylists at a high-end salon. It's not a really imaginative setting. There are a few people that desire rainbow hair every now and again, but mostly the colors and styles are quite conventional. He informed me around nine months ago that he was feeling sad and stagnated work and that he wanted to resign and work in a more creative atmosphere. I encouraged him and he began working at a different salon within a month. Except for him, everyone who works there is in their early to mid-twenties. He was instantly happy and after a few weeks he voiced his wish to begin trying for a family and for me to discontinue the pill. I told him it would be preferable to wait a little longer, ideally after the wedding since he wasn't making as much money as he used to. Some of his customers followed him, but the vast majority did not, resulting in a halving of his book slash money. His birthday is in May, and he mentioned trying again, as well as how he's in a good spot at work and that the time is appropriate. I decided to stop taking BC without attempting or preventing pregnancy since I expected it to take months to get pregnant. I'll be pregnant in June. 20 weeks and 4 days and we're both looking forward to the next chapter of our life together. In July, he adjusts his hours and begins working longer hours, telling me that he wants to be able to save money for the baby since I won't be working for 6-8 weeks after delivery. I don't think much of it and think it's wonderful that he's trying to provide for the kid. He sat me down two weeks ago, sobbing telling me he messed up. I believe he was dismissed. He cheated on me with the help of his 20-year-old apprentice stylist. I was really taken aback. Since it is what he desired, he informed me that's been happening on since he found out I was pregnant 
because everything he was thinking about suddenly became very real to him, and he couldn't take it. I told him I couldn't cope with everything right now, and that he needed to go and stay with friends or relatives. He's been apologizing and phoning and messaging me nonstop. He wants to work on things, but he won't give up. I don't trust him and don't believe I can till he quits his jobs and isn't always with her. I've spoken to my therapist about it, and I'm not sure what the correct response is. I'm not angry. I'm wounded. He's going to be in my life for the rest of my life, one way or another. I told him I'm 99% certain this is something I'll never forget. I'm doing all I can to be calm for the sake of the kids since I know stress is bad for them and might create problems. Any suggestions would be much appreciated. It is not an option for him to remain uninvolved. That is not something I would do. He'll be an excellent parent. He's fantastic with children.